hi guys so this is the second video for my adventure 390 accessories uh honestly speaking i have no idea what all have changed because i have changed the bike so much i have added things i have removed things so uh i'll have to go through it one by one and then i'll talk about it and i'll recommend you the things which i actually liked so first off i have changed the color scheme a little bit well basically i added some stickering look so this orange here and uh, those rim stickers the rim stickers are from actual ktm rim stickers they cost i think 38 rupees per piece so you have to get 8 of them uh, you have to ask for the duke 250 rim stickers okay so they they come as front left front right rear left rear right and uh, you can get them and you can fix them you don't need a heat gun to fix these you can just directly fix them okay so the second thing is this you see this bar here so that is the adv drive fog lamp mount of all the fog lamp mounts that i have seen so far this is the best one uh the aom fog lamp mount is also pretty good it's very similar except that it's little more down it fits more for the laser gun lights uh these fit perfectly for the mad dog lights or any other small lights the laser gun lights uh, will hit the indicator here so <clears throat> why this is so good is one as you can see here see it's a single piece of rod right single rod with two connections here so one thing i notice is that in between i had given this to my friend for some tests uh when they took it right i noticed that my friend module vibration increased a lot okay so this front started vibrating more i think is because see this headlight unit is held on two clamps here okay one here and on one on the other side so what this does is it kind of holds the whole thing together in so it's it's more basically more stability and you feel less vibration on this front module so like that as as how it is i feel this is a really good mount uh, so even if you don't want the mount or need the mount i would say just buy it and just cut this off and uh, just use it for stabilizing your front or you can build something very similar for cheaper so this is i think 1500 or 1400 somewhere around that the aom mount very similar extremely similar is just a little more down uh, that one costs 1200 Okay so that's the first one next thing is uh, i had a headlight grill here by automel currently i have again removed it because i had some stuff fabricated uh, i am also waiting for the plug and play headlight grill the headlight grill is amazing okay so so far automel is a very good company i feel mainly because if i buy something from them and i fit it on my bike i never have to think about its existence i never have to maintain anything i don't have to think about it it's like is there it causes no issues because they test it test it a lot so i had the uh, inverted maze grill which i called mean grill so it was like this so i have currently removed it i am waiting for the plug and play type so that you can just so uh, you can just plug it in and remove it and then you can clean your front screen uh, also he has created an acrylic version so basically you can keep like a transparent version transparent screen instead of the metal one which is more protection obviously but i am waiting for it to come out so <clears throat> the next thing is i have put my number plate on top so you buy a do or i think um active also works do and active uh, clamp you have to bend it a little and then you mount it these two points then you can mount your number plate on top i checked the regulations uh the police regulations say that there should be a number plate anywhere in a horizontal line in front okay horizontally anywhere in line same way behind anywhere in line it has to be there there's no such 
rule that it has to be under the headlight nothing like that i'll mostly link the document in the description let's see if i find it so then obviously our adventure 390 bangalore sticker we have 180 members now very happy about it okay so the next thing is you can see here these are the fork protectors or fork sliders also by automel again i fit it once i never think about it it just is there to protect my fork i don't have to worry about maintenance or rusting or it falling off nothing so this i think i fit i think 6 6 or 4 to 5 months ago maybe and i have never even worried about it i never thought about it similar to the head tail until i removed it i was like oh it is there okay then if you come back here you can see the adv tribe mobile mount this is the third version of the mobile mount so first mobile mount used to slide up and down uh this costs i think um, 1400 Uh, oh by the way um this clamp costs around 50 rupees and the fork uh sliders i think around 850 rupees so the adv tribe one this is 1400 i believe or 1500 again uh this is the third version the first version is to swivel up and down and my console got damaged because of this thing okay because it so each time i used to keep it up as a ride because of vibration used to come down down and it hit the module and it actually damaged my module it is a small dent permanent damage there so then i complained about it a lot of other people also complained about it he came up with a second version second version would not fit at all i don't think they tested it at all this is the third version which comes like this there is another clamp here see so you fit this then you fit this clamp on on top so that it doesn't move around at all uh it's worth it worth the price mm, but i mean it, it's worth the price because it's the only one available if there's something much cheaper available i would definitely go for that um because it's just a metal clamp i don't know if it should cost 1000 pound but it's the only one available right now so okay then i don't know if you notice this because it looks kind of stock this is the adventure conquest tft protector so as i said before this thing has damaged my console already and uh, if you go off road right you know that uh, you can mud rocks stone literally anything can damage this permanently the console and also if you seen during power washes right you know that inside the console water goes in all the time and then you can see those droplets it's just annoying i, I don't like it pretty sure you guys agree with me so <clears throat> this adventure conquest um protector okay i just got it today i was actually waiting for this and my top rack so that i can make this video so what this does is it just goes on top it makes the tft look bigger as well see it's bigger and it protects the whole thing because it's completely covered okay so there are like two clips behind here which hold them and then they are also given a tie okay so it, it's fixed see the, you can see the module itself shaking okay so it's fixed this is uh 1000 rupees so <clears throat> next one charge dex so charge dex is a uh, is a automatic lube and cleaner oiler kind of thing so what it does is you have these tubes and there's a thing here when you press this right this has oil inside from the reservoir it gets pushed through here and goes through the bike to the end here okay see here so what happens is the oil comes on the chain and as you ride the bike if you just press it two or three times the oil will flow into the chain and then it gets looped okay so uh if you watched the video by fort 9 uh they have said that the best uh chain lube is engine oil itself obviously you can use um you know chain lube by motul or something as well which is also good but this is more than enough so when you ride this will clean the chain as well as oil it 
uh, whenever I get a center stand I will remove this probably so that I can just use the center stand and clean it but so far it's really good okay so currently I'm using uh, 20 W40 I think engine oil they recommend three or four oils one is 20 W40 then I think 10 W50 not sure I have to check it's there on their website <coughs> next is these hand guards so these kind of look like bark buster they are almost as strong as bark buster as well see look at this thickness okay uh, this bike has already fallen on these hand guards I think about two times no dents no damage no bends nothing so of all the hand guards I've bought I think I bought eight pairs of hand guards this is the strongest and the best one that I have so even from the front it looks like a bark buster <coughs> these cost just 1800 rupees uh, I got them from Ashura garage um, you can get it from bandidos as well and also they come with a module over here okay so this is currently a fixed module you also get these light modules so you along with this you get it okay so you fit that here from inside and then connect it to your indicator then when you switch the indicator on the light will go like this like those oddies and all light will go also there is another wire which you connect then you get this will always have white light so like a daylight running lights okay so that is also there i have not fitted yet i might fit in later on let's see so <clears throat> next is the fantasia crash guards so i actually did not like the design of the fantasia crash guards initially but uh, some of my friends have gotten them gotten these crash guards as well as a person from my group he fell on the crash guards and his bike skid around 100 meters no, sorry yeah 100 meters 100 meters and there was almost no damage to the bike this the crash guards got slightly damaged in two places and that's it no damage to the bike at all handlebar slightly bent and the exhaust got slightly damaged those two things happened to me on standstill fall with standard uh, crash car so i got excited about the crash car and got it it looks good on the bike see and it does it's not protruding at all there's a small gap for the 390 written there also i got from ashura garage as you can see he's already has the ashura breed sticker okay and i have mounted my fog lamps here temporarily for mounting the fog lamps, I have used the Prospect um, clamps. Okay, Prospect clamps. These clamps are actually meant for their highway foot pegs, but I have used them for the fog lamp mount because this is the smallest clamp I could get. These are also another. These are called the Prospect Easy tags. Okay, these are also sliders. See, you can see slightly damaged. These are also sliders as well as mounts so the usual sliders will just will look exactly like this except on top you can clamp different things like a water bottle holder so in this case this is a fog lamp mount so you can remove this and mount a fog lamp i was using this earlier uh, or you can use um, a couple of other stuff helmet locks etc you can check their website uh, i got this because these are awesome i love it yeah, I, it's it's a multi utility thing so you see basically if I remove this bolt I can literally hang or connect anything I want here and that's that's a good deal for me these just cost uh, 450 rupees a piece so two of them will cost 900 and uh, the Fantasia crash guard it protects the engine as well so that's one thing I really liked so basically up top from up top all the way to the engine full protection next is another product by prospect which is called the easy clutch so i'm pretty sure you can't see this there's a small orange device inside okay uh, yeah so that one okay that's the easy clutch what the easy clutch does is basically it modulates 
what force you give here into a higher force or higher tension down there okay so basically it makes your clutch loose by around 5 to 4 to 5 times so see uh, i don't know so with one the smallest finger i am pressing this clutch okay and it's see don't need much strength so in city traffic this is so easy to use it's like just buttery smooth it's so easy the yeah by default also ktm clutches are pretty soft but i still found them hard in traffic so i got this one this is one of my um, most favorite products because i drive in bangalore city and mostly it's non moving traffic where you have to kind of go at like first gear 2 3 kilometers per hour on maximum and you have to keep pressing the clutch it's very hectic so this actually helped me a lot these are actually meant for uh, tigers harley davidsons uh, royal enfields but i got it for my bike as well i am happy with the decision so if you check them out um if you are in bangalore you can test my bike with yours if you try it once i'm i'm sure you will definitely get it because of how easy it is basically it's called the easy clutch next is the tank bag so i've changed the previous tank bag i got this is the guardian gear tank bag it's much smaller than before the previous tank bag but the quality is much better so one thing is you can keep the phone here there's a headlight sorry headset um, port and uh, you can keep all your other stuff in this small pocket so it's it's basically for like if you want to keep your phone or if you want to keep like a uh, you know when you cross a toll booth you get these slips if you want to keep them it's mainly for that it's not basically for like a luggage rack and the main reason i got it is because see here the tank is free i don't have to remove anything to fill petrol and that is the main reason i don't like the big tank bags i don't want to you know open this each time open the tank cover and then put petrol it's just hectic so i like this <clears throat> next is over here another product by prospect this is the easy cruise okay so it's it's a throttle lock basically so what is a throttle lock it locks your throttle so you must have seen these ones by go cruise and all so basically it'll come like a rod like this okay and then you move the rod here and then you kind of throttle it and move it so it doesn't go because of the rod touching the brake lever okay and then when you want to disengage it you kind of pull this rod back horrible implementation of such a simple thing this is a good implementation okay see now it's locked okay so throttle is free so i'm going to tighten it okay now it's tightened see locked see the throttle it's locked there it's going so in highways or if you want a little throttle in off road right keep it like this bike will rev it will keep going at that constant uh, throttle you if you want more throttle you can go down if you want less throttle go up same way if you want to disengage it just push it this way see it's disengaged now so this is the throttle lock this is i think around 2000 rupees and it's totally worth it i use it for highway all the time i also use it in off roading uh when you need the bike to constantly go you just use th lock the throttle and control with your clutch easy clutch makes that also much easier because you know you don't have to put much force your hands don't hurt uh literally this has made my life so easy especially if you are riding while you are saddling right you don't have to do this okay or whatever you don't have to do this okay you just have to lock it and then done you just need to hold it and control with the clutch <clears throat> next product also by prospect So this is an existing product by them. It's been there for some time. It's called the Easy Brake. So this actually goes almost directly in for our bikes because we have those uh, holes to move those the brake pad up and down or brake module thingy up and down, right? So what the Easy Brake does is it gives you more area, right? So it, see, it gives you a lot of area to give your leg. Okay. and gives you more control the second thing is see this heightened pad 
see that height and pad so the height and pad basically when you're saddling and you're standing up it's hard to push down with your leg right so instead you can just keep your leg here and push it down so it gives you more height to press the rear brake basically it's easier to use that's all also in the city sometimes i use this if i want to sudden brake right i can just use this for more force so this will give me more control over the brake than this it's a good product i think it's around 1000 rupees 1100 i think uh, very good add on to your bike and in case your bike falls this just this portion will break off and you can get the replacement or uh, order a new one the next is this adv tribe rear brake reservoir cover or something okay so it's a it's just a looks add on okay it doesn't do anything your rear brake reservoir will never get damaged look at how the bike is okay you can see it's caved in there so it won't touch here no matter what so it's just for looks or basically if you want to blanket that it's mainly for that it doesn't have a actual useful functionality i got it because i wanted this covered i wanted this black and at the same time i wanted to see what the condition of the reservoir uh, oil i mean brake fluid is so that's why i got it it's 1200 or something is expensive i would not recommend you to buy this then i think uh, i have already showed this to you but the silver is gone guys no more uh, silver exhaust this is now black so i got it powder coated black because i didn't like the silver color especially on the orange and black bike sudden silver just here does not look good i didn't like it at all so i got it powder coated black powder coating is not expensive it's just 1000 i'm sorry 100 or 200 rupees uh there's no damage to exhaust exhaust is meant to take much more heat so don't worry about that If you want, get it powder coated for two hundred rupees or something, and done. I'm pretty sure you noticed this small thing protruding here. This is the carbon racing um, spools, so paddock spools. So uh, these also protect your bike in case of falls. Uh, these are also thousand rupees for a pair. I have on both sides. I have a paddock stand which I use whenever I clean the bike, so that's why I have these. the next are one of the two major uh, add-ons <coughs> which i highly recommend that you should definitely get these two add-ons the first one is the adventur carbon racing saddle stays or pannier stays okay they are solid okay very strong these small holes right super useful to keep bungee cords or tie something onto the bike are raining now so i don't know if you can hear me properly hope so <coughs> so um adventure spaniel stays they will go with every single carbon racing spaniel stay which comes out in the future Uh, and only these will support those panniers stays as well so i would say get them if you ever want panniers that to ex uh, not ex exorbitantly priced panniers i think uh, carbon racing panniers a pair will cost around 14000 or 16000 which is totally worth it which is i think the most expensive pair as well so and also i like bungee cords when you want to tie something onto the bike right these are super useful they have so many different uh, like points where you can mount it and another thing is see how it looks on the bike those laser cut metals no pipes laser cut metals go along with the tail lamps for the mean look okay so highly recommended product if you don't like this look and you want pipes for some reason then get the automel one automel one is also really nice and uh, you can use for uh, pretty much any saddle bags and uh, they are great they are awesome um 
they are also super strong i actually stood on those saddle stays and uh, the bike can take it as well as the saddle stays no damage at all the automel one just point, just connects to one here and one in front here two chassis points that's it the next one highly recommended product is the automel top rack why the automel top rack so if you see this top right this is actually a top plate so that's why it doesn't look it, it actually doesn't look like this it this is the automel top top plate top rack whatever thing see it looks like this from underneath <coughs> i have my top box fitted on it already so this also we have tested with about 80 kg and also we have tested it for around 600 kilometers 600 to 1000 kilometer ride we have as in they have not sorry um it has this rod here can you see this so this is what provides the stability so this rod is connected to these two bolts on each side right here and on front here so this is a special version which i got full black version the stock in the original automel one will have like triangular designs like like this like this opposite triangle designs and uh, then the top plate goes on top of this it's very sturdy i don't know if i can okay i can't even show because it's it's very sturdy it's like part of the bike and it goes really well um most of the times when i show this top rack on images people will say how is it point mounted on only two points and stable and they don't even notice this bar because it just goes flush with the bike unless you actually see that and like you know that is there you don't notice it at all so that's something really good design that they have implemented and again no pipes only laser cut metal and see how the bike looks with the carbon racing saddle stays and the automel top rack it goes with that mean look no pipes full laser cut metal it looks awesome okay so the next thing is kind of a mod which i want to talk about so i know that uh, if you come from duke and all you have this thing called uh, tail tidy right where you kind of remove this thing this is possible for us okay you, so if you open these rivets or screws in my case it's a screw and there's this one more screw over here underneath right so four screws total if you remove it you can just take this off completely put the number plate back and it's a tail tidy you don't need a separate tail tidy so it's just a small mod that i wanted to talk about um i think that's it let's see what else is there so these wires over here i have to get my bike rewired i'm waiting for that that's why i have these wires here i'm getting a uh, scoutex lamps in front sorry not scoutex scout i already have the scout that's why i'm getting scout scoutex is slightly better but i like my autofy lamps because they're cheap just 2k each sorry 2k total and they're very good lights for if you want to see near vision so these are actually mad dog wiring units i highly recommend these because of how look at how thick the wire is and it's very stable like it's it's really good they give these clips for plug and play and if you want to remove the lamps you can just you know remove it here and remove the clip and done you're done with the lamps so i recommend these uh, the madlock wiring unit or wiring hardness it comes with a relay and a fuse and uh, we all know that relays and fuses are needed for high powered external devices that you connect to your device uh, could connect your bike yeah because otherwise it will burn out the internal wiring so this last one is a small mod i did so i don't know if you can if you know that this this mirror doesn't is not the stock mirror okay this rod is the stock one this is not stock 
this is actually the apache or uh, tvs mirrors because the stop mirror is so small and even though someone is right next to me i can't see if if he is there like i don't know he exists i have to either turn the mirror in to see people next to me or turn the mirror out to see people on the right side same on both sides okay so i got the tvs mirrors i think this is apache or entoc mirrors the same thing and uh, you can just remove the stock mirror from here and get do some slight modification and fit the apache mirrors it goes really well with the bike as you can see and it's huge much better for visibility or you can buy the double take mirrors for i think 13600 or 14000 this i think costs uh, almost 500 rupees for two mirrors so that's it thank you guys see you again